Hi all, Mass Band Cup from Cast Power Electronics. Today it is April the 8th and this is day 28 in isolation. Now Denmark is currently at passing 200 dead uh, with COVID-19 virus and we have as of now 100 people in ventilators. The curve is pretty flat and it is actually a bit too flat but it is enough for the society in Denmark to open up slightly when we come over the Easter vacation now here. This means that kids from age 3 to 12 will be back in institutions and school. Now this is because they are statistically those that get least infections and also has the most mild cases. And most of them are actually non-symptomatic. Now, personally, I have to work from home until the May 10th, uh, so that's a good uh, four weeks. Over in the other four weeks that I have already done. Now, the workshop cleaning and uh, home, some home improvement projects is what I spent most of my time on doing this Easter vacation. And for this, today's video, the electronic subject will be Variax auto transformers and variable transformers, isolation transformers and a look at those seven different kinds and sizes that I currently have. The auto transformer or variac or vario transformer, we all know this very very convenient tool. It is a kind of transformer where you can turn the voltage up and down just simply by turning a knob. Usually going from the zero voltage to the full voltage or even some overhead on some types. Now before we jump into the different types here, let's take a look at first what is a auto transformer. The name comes from Greek where auto means single or alone, simply because you have a metal core with just one winding on it. And you tap this, so you have the full line voltage over here but you take only a part of that line voltage to your load. So by that you can lower the voltage. Now when we speak of a variac or a variable auto transformer, the tap point is now variable along with turning this knob. Now the variac is actually just a brand name. Now when it comes to a variable transformer with isolation, that's a whole other thing. So you can see here the auto is now missing from transformer, meaning that it has a primary coil and a secondary coil, which also provides isolation to, between the main supply and the load. Now I have seven vario transformers or variable transformers in different sizes. Starting out over here I have a uh, 0 to 260 volt AC 2 ampere variable auto transformer. In the middle I have a 3 amp 0 to 250 volt AC variable transformer. As we can see on the schematic here, this is with isolation. On my other side I have another variable auto transformer 0 to 220 volt at 12 amp. Now at the bottom of the screen here I have put in some pictures of my other large variax which is a 3 times 6 amp, 3 times 12 amp and 3 times 25 amp. So let's go take a look at those. So over here we have the 3 times 6 amp, but it's it can take a lot more abuse because I actually powered my large dual resonance solid state Tesla coil pulling 12 kilowatt through these this three phased variable auto transformer. And this is the big one, the 0 to 250 volt AC, 13 amps, three phased, and that is way over some yeah, 150 kilograms with the enclosure here. So let's take a closer look. I came by this uh, three-phased, yeah, six amp rated, but I think it's more like 10 amp. Uh, I came by that in a scrapyard, just thrown out, so therefore it's missing the shielding. And I'm building a new enclosure for it where I want to put in some meters and such. A very nice uh, lightweight variable transformer. Not as heavy as uh, other units that I have. Uh, which we can see once we turn over to the big one to the right side here. Comparing the smaller enclosure over here with these huge raw coils, 
that is simply just some amazing large um, auto transformers that can really be abused. This can take a lot of current up to some 300% of its rated current for one to two minutes at a time. Now I built a lot of extra electronics into this. I have some measurement transformers. I have some uh, current transformers sitting in there. Uh, the blue ones are for voltage, the green ones for current. I put in a little power supply, some mains contactor, uh, and built in a um, little safety feature uh, that it has an emergency stop, has a start and stop. So you have to yeah, power it up. When you push the start, the contactor will start, but once it loses main power, it will not automatically start up again. It will then be stopped. The uh, least amount of safety you can put into a machine is at least that. Now the monitor on top, the data monitor here at the top can take in six analog signals, which is the three-phase voltages and three-phase uh, currents. And by that, it can calculate all kinds of uh, power utilization and such. Uh, I'll have another video where I demonstrate this, so I'll put a link to that in the description. Unfortunately, I do not have my large three-phase 25-amp variable auto transformer and my workshop. It has been in storage at a friend who had some room for it, so I can only show you these pictures of it laying on a Euro pallet. Now this transformer just in itself with its housing is 120 kilograms. So that can give you an idea of just how big an object and how heavy that is. Once, once I get to build some housing for it, you will see that it's enormous. It's quite a large transformer and I'm not quite sure if it's even practical to own in order to use it to yeah, move around with shows uh, with Tesla coils that it is perhaps just too big and bulky. For the 3 times 13 amp variable OS transformer that I built into the enclosure with a data monitor on it, I also got this original three-phased isolation transformer rated for 10 kVA. And it's not just an isolation transformer, it also has taps going from 415 volts down to 110. So that's an incredible high utility at that power level that I can go down in, I think it has taps for four different voltages in that voltage span. I just need to repair the terminals, but other than that, it's in perfect shape. And it also weighs around 200 kilograms. Just, I mean, look at that core. That's the width of my hand. It's absolutely insane. And I dragged that home on a wheelbarrow. I really hope you enjoyed this little overview of auto transformers, variable transformers, and isolating transformers. So, until next time, see ya.